Hello and welcome back to Rob's workshop. Now, because I've only just set up this workshop, I've got tools absolutely everywhere. They're in boxes, they're in bags, they're all over the floor, they're on the bench, everything. But I've got this a lovely big open bit of wall. So I plan to do a tool wall and get all my go-to tools right there so I'm close to the bench and they're all to hand and I can keep them organised once I've used it, put it back on the wall, forget about it rather than having them spread all over the bench when I come to use the saw I've got to move them all out the way and you know what I mean anyway so I've got these off cuts of OSB board um, so they'll be perfect and because they're off cuts they haven't really cost me anything because they were from another job so <coughs> I've got two of them so I have to join them um, cut them to size but yeah I think I'll paint them as well Just brighten up the workshop a little bit rather than these crusty old bricks so yeah stick around and see how we get on Right, so I managed to get the boards up. Um, now I'm not one of them who wants a pristine workshop where everything's white and clean and clinical and all that. I just want a fairly tidyish space so I can get some work done. You know, it's a workshop, it's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get dusty. I haven't got thousands and thousands of pounds to spend on it, hence why I'm using Reclaim stuff. I'll just give it a, a couple of coats of paint now. Right, I've rooted through the cupboard and I found an old tin of vinyl silk. That'll do great. I don't use silk on walls anymore. It's a nightmare. But it'll go great on the tool wall. So, it's baby blue. So, it'll have to do. And there's still over half a tin left. Perfect. Right, that's all nicely painted. Now I just need to dig out some tools to put on it. Now, I know it's the fashion on YouTube now for everyone to do French cleat walls or fancy. I'm not going to do that. I don't particularly like French cleats. I'm going to put the tools up on the wall. I know where I'm going to want them. They're going to be on screws or hooks or whatever. If I change my mind, I'll just take the screws out and move them. So no French cleats here. Right, I finished my hunt around the garage and I found fair few tools i've probably missed some but i'll always add them later on so i've got chisels spoke shaves saws marking gauges squares rules punches pliers bevels knives hammers mallets screwdrivers spanners brush scissors pair of compasses yep so now i've got to come up with a way of putting all these up on the wall
Right, I'm going to finish this video off here. I've got most of my tools up on the wall. No doubt I've missed some and I'll find more. And I've still got a bit of space to add a few more, so I might even go shopping and buy a few more. But I've got my chisels up, hammers, saws, tape measures, rules, pencils, screwdrivers, squares, spanners. I've got quite a bit up there and everything's to hand. It's organized, I know where it all is. It's basic, it's not your fancy French cleat system, but that'll do me. If I change my mind, I'll just move the screws and paint over. I change my mind there about the pliers to put the pencil tin there. Um, and I'll just paint over, that's fine, no problem. Um, where the warning, if you're putting a tin there to put your pencils in, make sure you hammer the sharp edge away. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and picked up some tips from me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.